The city of a thousand planets. Valerian is a passion project for Lupe Saint. He wrote, produced, and directed this ambitious adaptation of a comic book he fell in love with as a child. History is on the march. My goal on this one was really Raiders of the Lost Ark in space. You know, that's, that's awesome. That, yeah, that's what <laughs> I want to do. I want to have this adventure. Not the classical saving the world, you know, but the, the story is a little more complex. And I love the story. Uh, I can't tell you. He, all I was just going to ask, what can no, you tell I, us about I, this story? <laughs> I, I can't tell too much, but it's um, they really have to resolve an enigma. An unknown force wants to destroy all we have created. Agents Valerian and Laureline, you have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. Hard to get to work. The year is 2763. Outer space has become a place where aliens and humans can live and cohabitate peacefully together. And the place that they can do that the easiest is on Alpha. Home sweet home. It's as if the space station today has grown and grown and grown for 700 years and human beings have made contact with aliens from all around the universe and 10,000 species of aliens and humans from around the world have come together and they're peacefully living together on one space station. Alex, can you update us? I'd be delighted to. The Alpha Station has grown 7% this year. Population? Almost 30 million. 3,236 species from the four corners of the universe live on board. Most of the species are represented on Alpha. There's over 6,000 species because all the aliens, the humans, they're all gathered on this uh, international station. And everybody has come with its knowledge. So it's really the center for finance, for science, for medicine, for everything. It's paradise. Amazing. Sci-fi movies are always really fun, and this one has such a modern twist. There's a lot of reality in this world that's not real. How in space did you get that info? It's not info. Just deduction. We know how humans work. Mm -hmm. They're all so predictable. How much fun was it for you being able to explore all these different creatures and different species and, and bring them all to life on the big screen. It was just amazing. We start by writing the Bible of mm -hmm. Alpha, so mm -hmm. it's almost 200 pages. It's the entire history, even if you don't see it in the film, but we need to know the history, and we have also a, a couple of pages for each alien. What do they eat, how they reproduce, where they come from. <laughs> and, uh, That's so cool. And I even... When you, when you read, for example, the Korten Dauk and you see where they're coming from, there's an address in space. The address is real. We went to a map, a sky map. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, we, we're nuts. We're nuts. <laughs> no, you're very detail-oriented. That's yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you don't use it in the film, but it makes like a kind of a, of weight, you know, like it looks real, mm -hmm. you know. Even if it's totally incredible, you have this feeling saying, oh, it, it looks looks normal. Yeah. You know? Our destiny is in your hands. I taught him how to do that.